Everyone, my name is Ryan. And my name is Essa. I'm Jan. My name is Tatiana, and we have one more member of team, who is Christian. He's going to record our presentation now. All right. So um, our company that we chose to study was PepsiCo. Uh, many of you are familiar with PepsiCo. They're a global wholesaler and retailer of food and beverages. They, their product line consists of many household brands, including Gatorade, Lay's, Tropicana, and of course Pepsi. In 2012, PepsiCo was ranked 41st in the Fortune 500. Sorry, <clears throat> with revenues in excess of 65 billion, and this profound performance is largely attributable to their very strong corporate culture, which was recently reformed in 2007. In 2007, PepsiCo implemented a new strategic direction and established the notion of performance of purpose, which means delivering sustainable growth but delivering in a healthier and greener future for the future. <laughs> Sorry. This new strategy allowed PepsiCo to change their culture with values encouraging participation in global sustainability and conscientious business practices. PepsiCo employs a diverse workforce of employees that are motivated to improve the overall performance of the company while also contributing to a greener and healthier future. According to their 2012 annual report, PepsiCo was one of the first corporations to realize the link between corporation and society when they articulated performance purpose in 2007. They realized that purely focusing on profits <laughs> creates external costs that are indirectly internalized by the firm. In order to correct this, they implemented the philosophy of performance of purpose, which embraces corporate social responsibility, wherein PepsiCo is committed to achieving business and financial success while leaving a positive impact on society. Components of PepsiCo's performance with purpose of culture include building a portfolio of enjoyable and wholesome foods and beverages, finding innovative ways to increase energy efficiency, and supporting local economies as well as providing a diverse workforce of employees. Uh, although organizational experts say that the successful rate of major culture change is less than 20%, PepsiCo has experienced a 63% increase in net revenue since 2007. And this, 2000, this inc massive increase in revenues indicates that PepsiCo has successfully altered the company's organizational culture by contributing to society while also improving its performance. And now, um, the rest of my team is going to explain the dimensions of their corporate culture. All right, uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about the job uh, orientation versus employee orientation. In job orientation, uh, uh, basically the company limits responsibility uh, to job performance, whereas in uh, employee orientation, uh, the company watches out for the overall well-being of the employees. Uh, uh, as PepsiCo, being an employee-oriented uh, company, they provide comprehensive uh, benefit packages that uh, provide a healthy life and uh, a secure financial situation for the employees. Uh, these uh, benefits are, uh, in fact, exceeding the mar market standard, and uh, they are uh, from a little or to no cost to the employees. This shows how company is implementing an employee-oriented culture to care about its employees and their family-related issues. As part of this culture, Pepsi encourages adaptation to new uh, uh, cultural and social changes. Uh, for an example, uh, same-sex domestic partners who meet certain eligibility requirements uh, can benefit from these uh, packages. Another benefit of this dimension is that the company is able to attract and retain uh, global talent, uh, which brings people from all over the world to work for the company and they're actually able to uh, keep. In fact, it's, it's important to note that the extra uh, support provided by the company has caused the employees to be content, and once they are content and happy to work, they contribute to the performance of the, uh, the corporation. And uh, now we're going to talk about uh, result orientation versus process orientation. Um, a company maintains a balance between being result oriented and process oriented. Um, I'm going to talk more about the result orientation aspect, in which the employees are comfortable with unfamiliar situations. They uh, they put in their maximum effort and they're willing to uh, take risks uh, when they are faced with new challenges. Um, how is PepsiCo uh, a, a result-oriented company? Uh, it's basically um, uh, based on the nature of the work. Um, once uh, the 
the labor in intensive units of an organization uh, uh, are uh, in fact result oriented. And then in implementing that culture, the management has to take uh, serious, uh, serious uh, steps. PepsiCo management team implements key practices in order to foster a result oriented uh, culture in labor intensive units uh, to improve performance through culture. These measures create a clear linkage between the employees' uh, uh, performance and organizational goals. Uh, to, for, an for an example, they can use employees' performance information to track down uh, uh, organizational priorities and to ensure that uh, employees are uh, being, uh, uh, are being uh, held account accountable for reaching their uh, organizational goals. Okay, um, PepsiCo is also process oriented because they place a premium on procedure and routing and it helps PepsiCo to have well structured procedures that contribute to the overall success of the company. And for example, the manufacturer and the office units jobs are the process oriented because they're repetitive and routing. And however, it makes them to get bored so that PepsiCo encourages these units to be responsible to improve product quality and to consider the environmental impacts of their operations. PepsiCo's performance, the purpose, and culture um, clearly exhibit a socially responsible orientation because of company's concern for public health environmental sustainability and charitable contribution. The objective of PepsiCo Performance's Purpose Culture is provide more healthier food and beverages <coughs> to people. PepsiCo has altered its production lines by reducing amount of sugar, salt and saturated fat, fat in PepsiCo's products. Because all these fat um, sugar and extra colors lead to obesity. Uh, there are several examples of healthier food of PepsiCo. Mm -hmm. uh, this is non-carbonated low calorie drink called Caterade G2 and beverage truck 50 was reintroduced in 2009 with 50% reduction in calories over prior products. In addition to this, PepsiCo removed from school high calorie soft drinks in more than 200 countries by 2012. PepsiCo has been working on several projects to reduce environmental impact on our land, atmosphere, and water resources. The company has several projects that could be divided in several categories, such as improving packaging, minimizing waste, providing clean water to people, and eliminating water shortage. For example, research and development department of PepsiCo introduced in 2011 the first PET plastic bottle. This bottle made from plastic-based materials such as grass, corn, and pine. This bottle is 100% recyclable, and this is beverage container with a significantly reduced carbon footprint. PepsiCo works very hard toward minimization of waste. For example, in 2010, company generated 1.25 million metric tons of solid waste. Approximately 15% of this waste was discarded to a landfill and 85% was sent for recycling. PepsiCo made public commitment to improve water use efficiency by 20% per unit of production by 2015 versus the basis, uh, 2006 basis line. For example, since 2009, Companies plans have saved 2.2 billion liters of water. This is <coughs> were available occur, I'm sorry, occur because of uh, innovative technology of companies. This technology allows cleaning new bottles with purified air instead of water. PepsiCo has commitments to provide access to safe water to 3 million people in developing countries by 2012. 15. Um, in order to eliminate water shortage, PepsiCo installs village water in the irrigation system, establishes water health centers, improves sanitation programs. And one more objective of 
PepsiCo performance with purpose culture is to develop educational programs. Um, company has um, PepsiCo Foundation that um, provides money to different educational programs. For example, in 2013, company started nationwide nationwide corporate social responsibility program in Beijing for 22 universities in China and Taiwan. In addition to this, PepsiCo Foundation provides financial assistance to communities that. in major disaster areas on the planet. And the, the recent examples of this donation is donation is over um, over the world million to China Women's Development Foundation after twelve earthquake in China's Sichuan province on April 20, 2013. All right, and this concludes our project. Overall, sorry. PepsiCo's performance and purpose culture enables them to pursue environment, sustainability, and corporate social responsibility, thereby increasing their net revenues. And that's it.